You're watching Skywatch Media News. Here's what's happening for March 8, 2019. Astronomers from across the globe are increasingly confident that a massive planet-like object, ten times the mass of Earth, is lurking in the darkness of our solar system. Just recently, researchers discovered an object located an incredible 140 astronomical units from the Sun which they have dubbed Far, Far Out. This object is considered as the leftovers of a planet formation. Objects at this distance lie within the Kuiper Belt and are known as Kuiper Belt Objects, or KBOs. The nearest familiar presence to the newly discovered object is Pluto. The newfound object is comprised of two formations, each of which are between six and nine miles wide, which is pale in comparison to Pluto, which is 1,400 miles wide. Objects like Far, Far Out provide clues to the belief that something larger is looming in the far reaches of the solar system, something that fits the bill for a Planet Nine or the legendary Planet X. In the hundreds of years of observation in the solar system, astronomers have discovered only two large objects, the planet Uranus in the year 1781 and Neptune in 1846. Finding the unknown and elusive planet X has always attracted the interest and the attention of astronomers, but its location remains a mystery. Neptune was discovered after astronomers noticed that Uranus and other planets in the solar system were being gravitationally attracted by an unknown mass. This perturbation of the orbital pass builds up over time and can be observed more easily by researchers. The hunt for the mysterious Planet X continued into the 20th century, which culminated with the discovery of Pluto in the year 1930, the first planetary body to be found in our solar system in 84 years. But they soon discovered that Pluto was too small to account for the gravitational attraction of other bodies in the outer solar system. Planet Nine, as you probably know, earned its nickname because NASA downgraded the classification of Pluto in the year 2006. It is no longer considered as a major planet. The existence of Planet Nine could explain the strange orbits of objects in the Kuiper Belt in the outer limits of the solar system. The orbits of these bodies cluster together in a way which suggests a larger and possibly more distant planet has been affecting them with a relatively strong gravitational pull. Although it is difficult to establish a foundation for the existence of a giant rogue planet in our solar system, astronomers have calculated that the likelihood of Planet Nine's non-existence now stands at only 1 in 500. If the planet does exist, it is estimated to be 5 to 10 times the mass of the Earth, but smaller than the planet Neptune. Planet 9 is also said to be traveling in an elongated orbit, similar to that of Planet X. The orbit is also calculated to be 15 to 20 degrees off the main orbital plane in which most of the other planets orbit. Because of the planet reclassification of Pluto, Neptune is now considered as the most distant planet in our solar system. The existence of bodies such as Planet Nine could provide astronomers with an unprecedented opportunity to learn much more to learn about how our solar system originated and evolved. The influx of near-Earth objects continues to grow. On March 1st, a newly discovered asteroid designated 2019 EH1 flew past Earth at a very close distance 
of 0.06 lunar distance, a distance of less than 15,000 miles. This is the eighth known asteroid to fly by Earth within one lunar distance since the start of the year. The object belongs to the Apollo group of asteroids. It was first discovered at Canalita Sky Survey on March 1st, but wasn't made known to the public until March 7th. It has an estimated diameter between 8 and 19 feet, and it flew past us at a speed of nearly 35,000 miles per hour. Something is happening along the Cumberland Plateau in eastern Tennessee. On March 5th, a 3.4 earthquake shook the region around Knoxville. The earth trembler caused loud booms and it shook homes. Thousands of residents reported feeling the earthquake, which struck at a depth of 9 miles. Knoxville and surrounding areas sit along the East Tennessee Seismic Zone one of the most active earthquake zones in the eastern United States. The seismic zone is located far from the edge of the North American continent and represents a mid-continent or interplate earthquake zone. This region of Tennessee experiences more seismic activity than just about everywhere else in the eastern United States. In 2014, the United States Geological Survey increased the earthquake hazard potential of this area, rating parts of East Tennessee at the second highest level of risk, at Code Red. The only other regions east of the Rockies with that much or greater hazard potential are in the South Carolina Seismic Zone and the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Since the mid-1970s, there have been at least 140 measurable quakes with a magnitude of 2.5 or higher in East Tennessee. The ground has been shaking along the East Tennessee seismic zone for quite a while, but no one seems to know whether the ongoing tremors are a precursor to something more serious. In December of 2018, a 4.4 earthquake in Decatur, Tennessee was captured on a surveillance camera at the moment that it occurred. The early morning jolt was felt as far away as Atlanta. Geologists are now determining whether the March 5th earthquake north of Knoxville is responsible for a huge sinkhole that was discovered at the Louisville, Kentucky Zoo just one day following the Tennessee earthquake. Aerial photographs show that the crack which formed near the mega cavern is 150 feet wide, 255 feet long, and at least 50 feet deep. Engineers who are presently evaluating the sinkhole are worried that the crack could continue to grow. On March the 7th, the Solar Dynamics Observatory captured a strange eclipse of the Sun, an event that can only be seen while orbiting the Earth. As shown here, the black disk representing the new moon passed in front of the Sun and then suddenly reversed course not once, but twice. The strange back-and-forth motion of the moon, in which it appears to be reversing course, is said to be the result of orbital mechanics, where the Solar Dynamics Observatory and the moon are orbiting Earth at different speeds during the long eclipse in a phenomenon similar to a retrograde motion. The lunar transit lasted just over four hours. As much as 82% of the sun's surface was covered. What is bewildering about this event is that there were no solar or lunar eclipses 
that were scheduled for this date, making for interesting conversation as to what exactly took place. When looking to the sky, it is sometimes difficult to make sense of what you may see and wondering how the universe can exist in its infinite state. Its secrets are not easily understood. But humans are a curious species. We search for answers to the most complex problems of our time, and we strive to overcome life's difficulties. As William Shakespeare once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. And therefore, our journey for the truth is endless. Thanks for watching.